Uh, hello, welcome to Spell Day. We're covering a spell every single day of the year from the 5e PHB plus 3. Those social spells are homebrew spells. We're at plus 2 at the moment. You can get back to playlist to find them. And today's spell is Remove Curse. It's a hard-headed baby. <laughs> <laughs> what is that f***ing noise? Third level abjuration, casting time for one action, range of touch, components verbal, somatic, duration, instantaneous. At your touch, all curses affecting one creature or object end. If the object is a cursed magic item, its curse remains, but the spell breaks its owner's attunement to the object so it can be removed or discarded. A simple one, but... Wow. Wow. It's a cure-all antibiotic for bad magic, in the sense of cursed items or malicious use, which is why I'm not a big fan of it. Not in the sense that it's bad, I just don't run it that way in my games. This is one of the few spells I have definitively homebrewed on how it works. Just because part of the whole fun of curses is that there's some specific need or requirement to break them. Whether it be killing the original caster, some additional lesson to be learned by going through with it, enduring some of its harshest properties, or some greater willpower overcoming it, or getting blessings from a church. Specific blessings, not just an ad hoc third level spell. Because also this is all curses. I thought this was a curse. This is all curses. And so you can stack up as many cursed items as you want, which tying to two-minute slots, likely only three, but mm, I don't know, mess with any hags you want, any dangerous liches, you know, just stock up, have the church questioning why you have this many, one casting, you're fine. That's, I don't like that. It's good, but I don't like it. Because then what's the point of a curse if it can be simply solved by one spell? And not just one curse, all of them, on a creature or object. It's not specifically saying magic items, it's de specifically describing those two separate things. When it comes to the magic item, it just allows the person to unattune from it, or get rid of it in some other manner. When it comes to objects though, that could be places like, um... It's the opposite of Hallow, but it's the same spell as Hallow. Certain areas that desecrate places, certain areas that are, are curses, or do spell effects, certain spell effects count as curses? Yes, bestow curse immediately, but does hex count? And for that case, does hunter's mark count? Is anything that's a debuff, does bane count, but bless doesn't? There are other things explicitly called curses, but then when it comes down to individual spells and negative effects that say it curses or befouls a region, that's not really a keyword, that's more a descriptor that's used. The exact writing and nature around curses and is very vague and loosely upheld, leading to a bit of a headache. So in short, it's a cure-all that's actually a cure-all, which is no fun, and then it gets into muddled waters of what's a curse and how easy. This is, I mean, it's dispel magic, but you can hit multiple effects, especially if you're going to hit spells. But... Oh, welcome to Barovia. You just use this on every location you come across. There are so many terrible places there. <laughs> yeah, it won't make it infinitely better, like monsters will probably still be there, but it's likely to remove some things. Does Mirage Arcane count as a curse of some kind on the land if it befouls it and makes it hard to travel through? Plant growth, for that matter, if it's overwhelmed and overgrown spikes and bushes everywhere. What counts as a curse? 9 out of 10, though. Just because there's no save, no... Even Counterspell has, and Dispel have a roll requirement at the very least when you're casting it at base third level. This is the same level as those, doesn't have a roll requirement to this. It can automatically affect items, people, and magic items, allowing you to unattune from them to an extent. And, and it's all curses affecting a target. With one cast, as an action, and to, as an action, no material components. At least if it had an expensive material component, I could kind of get it. But it's just, it's so good, I don't like it. <laughs> Namely because it takes the teeth out of so many other things. By it just existing. 9 out of 10, but I'm not happy about it.